Venus Aerospace's straight-flow ramjet engine integrated with a rotating detonation rocket engine can propel aircraft to speeds exceeding 7,400 km per hour. Venus Aerospace is working on several projects focusing on the reusability of its propulsion systems, which is expected to help drop the cost of hypersonic travel and power applications in space and cargo delivery. Venus Aerospace has introduced a groundbreaking engine for high-speed aviation. The Venus Detonation Ramjet 2000 pounds VDR2, engine was recently unveiled at the UP Summit in Bentonville, Arkansas, marking a major breakthrough in high-speed flight. This development marks a significant milestone in supersonic technology, with the potential to transform air travel by enabling airlines to cover vast distances at incredible speeds. The new engine will make hypersonic flight a reality. A key challenge to supersonic flight is creating an engine that can maintain continuous thrust at extreme speeds. Current supersonic systems primarily rely on gliders, which are launched to high altitudes and speeds by rockets before gliding back to Earth. While efficient, such methods are impractical for commercial airlines that need to maintain powered flight throughout the journey. The VDR-2 addresses the challenge with a simple design based on a ramjet engine. Ramjet engine is a type of jet engine that relies on the forward motion of the aircraft to compress the incoming air, creating a hot, high-pressure environment for combustion. Unlike traditional jet engines, ramjets do not require rotating compressors or turbines. This is a jet engine that uses the forward motion of the aircraft to compress the incoming air, thus eliminating the need for complex and easily damaged fans like conventional jet engines. Venus Aerospace reinforces the traditional ramjet design by integrating a rotating detonation rocket engine, RDRE, into the VDR-2. This technology enhances both thrust and efficiency through a continuous detonation process. In this process, fuel and oxidizer are injected into a narrow gap between two cylinders and ignited, creating a rotating supersonic shock wave inside the gap. This method generates significantly more force than conventional combustion. In addition, the combination of a ramjet engine and RDRE technology results in an engine that is not only powerful but also durable. It can propel aircraft to Mach 6, 7,408 km per hour, and reach an altitude of 52,000 meters. Additionally, Venus Aerospace predicts that the VDR-2 will be 15% more efficient than traditional engines making it even more suitable for commercial use. The first test flight of the VDR-2 is scheduled for next year. If everything goes according to plan, the project will have a significant impact on the future of supersonic aircraft and has the potential to revolutionize the entire aviation industry. The Venus Detonation Ramjet 2000 pounds VDR-2, offers several potential benefits and challenges. Benefits. Unprecedented speed. The VDR-2 could propel aircraft to speeds exceeding Mach 6, significantly reducing travel times and making long-distance flights more feasible. Enhanced efficiency. The engine's detonation-based combustion process offers improved fuel efficiency compared to traditional jet engines, leading to lower operating costs and a reduced environmental footprint. Increased payload capacity. The VDR-2's powerful thrust allows for larger payloads making it suitable for a variety of applications, including commercial passenger transport, cargo delivery, and military operations. Superior altitude performance. The engine is capable of operating at extremely high altitudes, providing access to more efficient flight paths and reducing drag. Challenges. High cost. Developing and producing the VDR-2 is likely to be expensive, which could limit its widespread adoption. Noise pollution. The engine's powerful exhaust could generate significant noise pollution, particularly near airports. Environmental impact. The increased speed and efficiency of the VDR-2 could lead to increased air traffic and associated environmental impacts, such as greenhouse gas emissions and noise pollution. Technological challenges. Developing and testing the VDR-2 involves significant technological challenges, and there is a risk of delays or setbacks. Thanks for watching.